In this tutorial, we're going to use the free HD converter from Kyotsoft. And so you can find this on their website. It's pretty simple. It's free software, so might be pretty good. So let's just take a look at what we get. We've got our cars, and it drags right in. It shows us it's 1440 by 1080, so that works great. If we drag in the other ones, we'll just see and make sure they all come in. All right, it stopped on one of them, so let's see which one. It's not opening the AVI, and it's not opening the, up the M2T. So, and it is not opening up the MPEG. So it's really just seeing these MTS files. Now, this M2T file is actually a high-def file, but it doesn't recognize that extension. By changing it to an MTS extension, and then I'm going to change it back, you'll see it comes in without any problem at all. So kind of interesting. I'm going to get rid of those though. I'm not going to have the MTS files except for the cars there. So I might want to remove that. So let's see. wonder if I can, I'll just clear the list. And let's change that back to M2T for the farm. Now I know I'm just going to be using the cars. So I'll drag that in. Let's see what I can do to change this setting. I wonder if I can maybe double click, oops, selection, select there. Double click on this and it doesn't look like I can actually see it. So it'd be nice if I could change the, the size, but it doesn't, or the length, but it doesn't look like I can do that at all. So anyway, let's move on to the next stuff. I can save it out as my different settings. Here's my DVD NTSC. MPEG-2, 16 by 9, 6,000 kilobytes per second, and 256 is great, and we'll go ahead and convert it. And we'll just let it, it convert um, each file separately, each conversion separately. And you'll see this thing, it processes pretty quickly. So it's saving up my 7 megabyte per second file here. There we go. Now with this, I can change the settings to a different setting. So I'll do the FLV high quality. We'll change this to 640 by 360. So that one's close. I'm not sure it's going to 640. It's not even going to let me change it manually. So that's kind of annoying. I don't get to change things the way that I want. Definitely want 30 frames a second. I'm going to do 1500 kilobytes per second. Audio is 128. So that works well. And let's go ahead and do convert. And it's saving out my FLV. So this is the problem with some software. This software is free and it opens up um, high def files really easily, but it might not give you as much control as you'd like. So now anyway, I'm going to go to the iPhone format, 640 by 480, let's see, 640 by 352 or 640 by 368, that's about as close as we're going to get. 16 by 9, 30 frames a second, we'll do the 1500 kilobytes per second and our audio at 128, we'll convert. definitely seems to be encoding faster than some of the other tools for sure. It codes quite fast. Alright, last one that we're going to be using is the WMV. Right now it's set to HD, but we'll just change it to 640 by 368, same as the other ones. We'll do the frame rate of 30, and wow, look at that. We've got 9,000, so we'll just do a 1500 kilobytes per second, change the audio to 128 just like the others, and go ahead and convert it. Alright, that's saving up really quick. So here are my files, and we're going to, of course, put these into the um, free HD converter folder. 
We can take a look at them, play them, and see what the quality looks like. Now, if we stop them, we're looking to see if we've got fields. And it doesn't. It looks like it's actually kind of got two fields in there, so I'm not really sure it's getting rid of our fields at all. But the colors are pretty good, and the quality looks good, and it has a great start. There's no compression artifacts at the beginning like we got when we compressed the footage out of episode. I don't know if you remember looking at this stuff, but first starts, there's a lot of compression artifacts. Here it's gray at the beginning. On this one, a lot of compression artifacts at the very beginning for some reason there as well. Free HD has no compression artifacts. pretty good job of giving me some nice compression. And the color still looks good on the MPEG-4, even though on some of them the MPEG-4 didn't do well. So, not too bad a software. Let's go on to the next tutorial.